Hello there, my beautiful Aquarius friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. All right, Aquarius, this is your energy check-in reading today, and what I'm going to do for you is open your reading with an oracle card from the Enchanted Forest Oracle. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck, and then I'm going to close off with an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. Before we begin, I just wanted to bring something to all of your attention here. We got tons and tons of scammers out there. I've been seeing them in the comment section of my videos. I've been seeing them on Facebook. I've been seeing them everywhere. So I want you to be very careful. I only have two social media accounts. One is my YouTube channel here. It's verified and has a check mark. And the other one is on Instagram, which is also verified with a blue check mark. If you're finding yourselves being in contact with someone that is posing as myself with the cat symbol, especially on Facebook, I am not on Facebook, everyone. Be careful out there because these scammers are posing as lots of different people out there, not just me. But I feel this is ramping up, so you just wanna be extra careful. Just remember, I have two accounts. I will never reach out to you for a personal reading. If you find yourselves uh, receiving messages from someone that is posing as me on these social media platforms, it is not me. And again, I'm gonna repeat this one more time. I'm only on YouTube and Instagram, both verified accounts with check marks, okay? So stay safe out there, everyone. All right, let's call in spirit and open up your reading, Aquarius. See what it is that spirit would like to share with you today. So we are getting here, my friends. Make room. Look at that, it's time for you to make room. And I don't know if any of you are seeing wolves. Maybe this is your spirit animal, Aquarius. This is coming in as a confirmation for you today. And if you haven't seen a wolf, you're seeing one now on your screen. So create space to welcome positive change into your life. Let go of everything that doesn't align with your future that you are creating. So once again, create space to welcome positive change into your life, Aquarius. Let go of everything that doesn't align with the future you are creating. All right, so look at that. A very powerful message here for you today. All right, let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. So we are getting here King of Swords, Aquarius. Look at that, the King of Swords. You have a lot of power. You're also connected to spirit. Spirit is saying that if you're able to focus on your goals, on your desires, on your dreams, you're going to make them your reality. Some of you are already in a position right now where you're living in your dream reality. But know that you have the power to create it, okay? So they're wanting you to follow those dreams. That is the King of Swords here. And Five of Pentacles, some of you might be feeling some sort of temporary period of hardship, okay? This is a period where we hit a low in our lives. It can feel like it's bad luck, but what's actually happening is you have activated some sort of a prayer, some sort of a manifestation that is now taking formation. Remember, you are very powerful, so you have set things off. And especially with this eight, uh, triple eight portal, we have really pulled this energy in. So some of you that are going through some tough times right now, I feel this is actually uh, helping you evolve, become that version of yourself through whatever it is that you're experiencing. So remember, this too shall pass. Don't resist it. Let's move through it. Let's put our problem solving hats on and really look at how we can navigate through this journey, navigate through this experience. 
Remember that you are connected to spirit. So ask spirit for the signs and you're going to get through this. So that's the five of pentacles. So it's letting me know that there's some change coming in. Knight of cups coming through. So we have an offer, some sort of a really good thing that is about to happen for you, Aquarius. And this is coming in slowly, but it's opening you up to a whole new experience in your life where it's going to be more heart centered. So you're going to find yourself really enjoying life, doing the things that you love because of something that is incoming in your life here. Okay. Now I want you to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So look at that, the Knight of Cups. I love this for you. So preparation, understanding the energies that you're working with, understanding what it is that you're going through the experience of the energy that you're facing here. So it's really important that you ground yourself and allow yourself to think clearly rather than freaking out when you experience something that throws you out of your comfort zone, okay? So before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon rising and Venus signs. So we got a temporary patch of energy coming in. So some of you might be feeling the turbulence of that. Now this can come in this, you know what it is? It's Mercury retrograde. I really feel that some of us may, might be dealing with delays around travel, delays around financial, um, you know, financial things, right? With money, perhaps there's been some sort of a lag or slowing down of something in your life. Uh, maybe you're not able to reach a deadline or things are falling apart or breaking in your life. This is kind of what I'm getting here. Little bits and pieces of things that might be going wrong in your life. And let's breathe through this. Okay, let's breathe through it. You're actually meant to go through this. And I feel there's almost like this testing that is happening just to see how strong you are. I'm getting the lion coming through and this is the lion's gate portal, right? We've got this roar that is coming in, the energy of that roar that is pushing us forward, right? They're wanting you to roar here, Aquarius, to really push yourself, to use a little bit more extra energy to get through whatever this is. This is what the lion's gate portal is and we're going to feel this energy throughout August. We're going to feel the sun's energy also, so we're being blasted and splashed with these powerful energies that are pushing us and nudging us to move forward, to break through any kind of barriers that are in our life, to not allow um, some of these little, little things to get the best of us here. So some of you might be going through like just a little temporary energy of, you know, uh, scarcity or, you know, having communication problems uh, in a relationship here. Whatever this is for you, feel free to share with me what this five of pentacles for you is. Now, what's happening is you're, you have a lot of understanding, like you understand things more than a lot of people here, Aquarius, those of you that are watching. And this is what spirit wants you to do is access that part of yourself that has that knowing and understanding. You've gone through your life experience here, Aquarius, overcoming a lot. Okay, I know that some of you have overcome many different challenges. You're here today, so they want you to put that hat on that helps you really open yourself up. Like I'm getting a lot of neurons. I'm getting a lot of circuits here connecting. I'm seeing a new branch of um, connection that is happening here. This is all in your mind. They're showing me these new branches that are expanding and growing. So I feel for some of you, you have to do something different. Um, what you've been doing right now, especially if you've been finding that you're been that you've been in this, it's really interesting because I feel like I'm getting cut off here as I'm trying to explain this to you. And what's happening is there's this belief that is not allowing some of you to open yourself up to this other way of seeing the world, to this other way of experiencing the world that is more tied to abundance. So if you're feeling this energy, I feel it's a blockage that you have to clear, but you have to look at your life through the lens of abundance. So a lot of times it's our mindset, right? It's the way that we look at our life. If we're coming from a place of lack of scarcity, then we're gonna experience that because the more energy we put into it, the more we're going to experience it because that's what we're creating. So this is where spirit is asking you to look through the mindset of growth and abundance. Okay, everything in our life happens for a reason. We're meant to go through different experiences. This is why we're on earth, 
This is what this planet is, is a learning planet. It teaches us, helps us grow to become that version of ourselves. So whatever it is that you're going through, remember that you're going through it because you're meant to and you've also activated something. So whatever was there once before can no longer remain there because you're in alignment with something else. Okay, so they want you to activate your own power to get through this. Call on your spirit guides to help guide you through whatever it is that you're moving through. Okay, and remember, this is only temporary. Whenever we hit a low, there's a high coming. There's a high coming for you. So don't stand still here in this place. The only time we want to stand still is when we're connecting to spirit. But we want to remain in movement and action here. Okay, so that's the five of pentacles for you. They wanted me to start with this. So those of you that are seeing the number fives, especially the number fives, actually, I'm getting five, 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 or even triple fives. If you're seeing these numbers in your life, this is coming in as a confirmation that there is definitely some, uh, uh, some sort of a message here in this reading for you. Also change, you know, a lot of times some of us aren't comfortable with change, right? There's some changes I'm not comfortable with, but I actually enjoy changes. I'm flexible and adaptable. I am a Gemini sun in rising. So for me, change is awesome. I love change. I love experiencing new things. I love being in new places. I actually don't mind change at all, right? And others, we don't like change. And I feel this, there's change coming in. It's throwing you out of your comfort zone. And when we feel like we're out of our comfort zone, that's an opportunity for us to really see what it is that we're made of and challenge ourselves to be uh, stronger than the challenges that we're facing. And this is that crowd uh, ca card. I'm getting a crowd coming in that maybe you're in a crowd. Perhaps there's fear, like I'm picking up on fear here around um, people, too many people or a crowd or something like that. That's really interesting. So the King of Swords. This is where you have mastered alignment and connection to spirit. This is where you really understand yourself. You have that focus and it doesn't matter what is going on around you, you're not a part of it. So take a look at this. We've got all of these pentacles up in the air above this woman. So I feel some of you are thinking things um, that might not be in alignment with what it is that you desire. Maybe there's some worry, there's some stress there. I'm getting something here in the mental plane that you need to strengthen within yourself. So again, those of you that haven't grabbed my 14 day mindset challenge ebook, I've got a link in the description box below. This is going to help you ground yourself. It's everything that I do in my own life that I wanted to share with you through this ebook. So that link is in the description box below. But what's happening is you're being given power. You're meant to claim your power and take it back. Okay. You're meant to rise in your life as well through grounded energy. This is where you have focus, you have clarity, you have foresight right through that connection with spirit so you want to cultivate that inner peace and calm within yourself in order to connect but this is actually showing you the way so what's happening here is some of you have a really clear vision of what it is that you desire the kind of life that you want to live here Aquarius or maybe you're trying to bring in love maybe you're trying to bring in a career that is more in alignment with you or an opportunity uh, to build more wealth finances maybe money's on your mind right this is a money card and maybe you're having trouble with money right now so spirit wants you to gain clarity on okay this is what I want as far as finances let's not focus just on the finances itself but what those finances are going to bring into your life right understanding okay why do I need this money why do I need this certain thing what is it that I'm wanting to experience with this thing with this money right this is the king of swords this is where you understand like what it is that you're trying to gain from what it is that you're bringing into your life and once you have that clarity so for example i want to make more money in my life because i'm looking to purchase a home right so we have a dream my husband and i to build a home so the money we need that money for that home so i'm not focusing on the money i'm focusing on that home how that happens for me i'm leaving that up to spirit guide so this is what spirit wants you to do is Understand what the outcome after the fact of what it is that you're desiring to live in that experience. Your imagination, your visualization is going to be very powerful here. If you understand what it is that you're wanting to bring in and believe that you're actually going to have that and you can actually believe that that can happen for you, that's going to happen for you. I feel sometimes we throw wedges into our dreams. Like if we think of something 
you know, we're, we're living in this big bench and we have these beautiful cars. Someone out there might have a dream like that. If you feel like, like as if that's going to happen for me, then like as if that's not going to happen for you, right? Because that's what you believe. Maybe it's a great dream to have, a great wish to have, but if deep down inside you don't believe that's going to happen for you, that's the five of pentacles, right? It's not going to happen for you. Because the more energy you put into thinking of how that's not going to happen for you, it's not going to happen for you. So I want you to believe that is going to happen for you, that you are worthy and you deserve that energy. And for some of you, it's not even about finances. It's not even about money. It's about living that life, that purpose where you're able to serve others, to live in an energy of love, to experience happiness in every moment and experience that you experience in your life. So all of this is coming in and know it's a part of your birthright. Everything that you desire, you are meant to have, but we have to release any kind of disbelief in that, any kind of wedge, any kind of, um, they're saying tainted energy within us that is stopping us from actually creating that, okay? So that desire, that dream. So it's time for you to really set some clear intentions here, Aquarius, and take some action, make a plan, on how we're going to get to that place. This is you building a bridge to your dreams, to that reality. And some of you are highly intuitive. Some of you are able to even see future events. This is foresight coming in. I'm getting a lot of visions coming through, dreams, a lot of things that might be resonating for you right now, like synchronicities coming in. And we've got a lot of synchronicities for you, by the way. This is the Knight of Cups. So we have an incoming energy. This could be a news or message, something that spirit is trying to communicate with you. This could come through a dream or another person. I feel this is opening you up to a completely different experience in your life, one that maybe you have been desiring and it's finally coming in for you now. Those of you that are seeing horses around you, I'm getting some of you finding coins as well. These are all coming in as signs. So if you're seeing a horse, um, if you're seeing coins, Maybe you're a coin collector, something to do with coins here, and that's coming through the Five of Pentacles. This is coming in as a sign for you. I'm also seeing a fountain. I don't know if any of you have made a wish on a fountain using a coin, tossing a coin in a fountain. And I'm also getting a lock. I don't know if you have tied a lock or put a lock on a fence. Um, doing some sort of a ritual. This is what you're doing here, some of you out there. Maybe you've done something recently, and I feel this, this is now uh, activated and it's coming in for you. And this is the Knight of Cups that's bringing it in. So this is where I'm seeing some of you really doing things that you enjoy doing. This is a new experience. Maybe you were in a life, in a point or a cycle where you weren't. You were feeling a lot of energies where you're not, you know, in, in the right place. And this is about you being in the right place at the right time. That's the other thing. Some of you may already feel that you have had moments in your life where you were in the right place at the right time and something happened, an opportunity came in, something happened for you. This is how the Knight of Cups is coming in. You're going to be at the right place at the right time for this to actually happen. And it's a synchronicity that is happening for you. So what I'm getting here is maybe you're in a crowd connecting with people, networking, and you land an opportunity from having a conversation with someone that leads you to you doing something that you really enjoy doing. This is tied to your heart center. And when we're coming from that place of our heart through that energy of love, we're going to see more of that. And what I'm getting here is networking for you, Aquarius, is going to be so powerful. If you're able to get yourself out there and really connect with people, attend events and just get out there, put yourself out there. You're going to see how blessed you are through the connections that you make just from you getting your energy out there. I'm getting some of you offering people things that you enjoy doing. So this could be something that has to do with art, something creative, something that you're able to offer others. I'm getting a podcast here. I'm seeing you um, inspiring and teaching others through your voice, through your creativity here and some sort of an offer coming in that is going to help you expand and grow in this area. So this could even be like a YouTube channel. This could be uh, an online business, something that you're doing where an offer comes in because of the work that you're doing to put yourself out there. And this is really going to help you expand in your life. There's a lot of preparation that spirit wants you to put into this, right? Um, preparation, meaning understanding what it is that uh, you're trying to bring into your life, having clarity. And it, it's the wolf energy. Some of you might have a, a spirit animal as a wolf, right, in your birth chart. 
Um, maybe you're seeing wolves around you. Like I'm just getting this energy where I'm getting a pack of wolves here. Someone by that's uh, in the woods. There's a river here and maybe you've seen some wolves. I don't know if any of you are photographers out there. Maybe you captured some sort of um, rare animal out in the wilderness even. Like this is coming through. I'm seeing someone out by the river. There's a lot of rocks, lots of trees here and someone's got their camera set up. So maybe you're filming or even doing some sort of photography. Um, that's coming through. Maybe there's an opportunity coming up, something that's gonna happen here. Maybe you connect with someone else that happens to be there at the same time. Um, so again, you're at the right place at the right time here, Aquarius, and there's a lot of beautiful things that are coming in. These are blessings. Experiences where this union, this connection happens which allows that which opens a door for you and it allows you to move in a new direction that is actually meant for you okay so look at that beautiful things are happening for you Aquarius and this this is what's happening with this energy there's so many energies at play here and all of them are working in your favor okay so let's not not let mercury retrograde to get the best of us let's slow things down a little bit and ground our energy so we're not feeling the effects of the five of pentacles so so much right so i'm going to now pull a bonus card from the spirit animals oracle deck i'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook see what it is that spirit wants to share with you today aquarius so we are getting here flamingo spirit any of you seeing flamingos in your life this is a confirmation coming through the message here is embrace the in-between some of you are in the in-between and we have the number 26, so perhaps you're seeing this number somewhere in your life. This is coming in as a confirmation. Those of you looking for timing around the message of this card, I'm getting 26 days and 26 hours, but also 26 weeks around the message of this card. So we are getting for you today, Oracle message is, balance comes easily to Flamingo Spirit, who sees what was and what will be and stands strong in the face of uncertainty. You can be informed by what came before and plan for a future yet to be, but do not resist Flamingo Spirit's call to be fully present in the now, where the real magic happens. With one foot in life, you are moving away from, from and one in the future as you become the one who leads the life of your highest intentions. You must make peace with the fact that you are not fully in either place. Embrace the in-between here. The presence of Flamingo Spirit is also a sign that your creativity is arising within you and opportunities are beginning to present themselves. Remain here in a balanced state of mind for there is much to know and learn before going forward with new plans. You can trust this moment and yourself as you take in what you see and become aware of all that you are experiencing in this in-between time. The protection message here for you is if you're feeling nervous and wobbly, stop worrying about the past and the future. Instead, be present in the moment balancing for now in the space in which creativity arises. Creativity is your birthright, Aquarius. But if you're moving too quickly in an attempt to avoid the discomfort of transition, you can blind yourself to the miraculous possibilities that are before you now and those just coming into being. The past has its lessons and planning has its merits. But right now you may be imbalanced because you're becoming too nostalgic for what once was or too anxious about what the future might hold. There is time to plan carefully. For now, be still and know that spirit is here co-creating with you in this moment. The next step will appear when it needs to appear. Relax into a state of equanimity and balance so any anxiety can transmute into trust and faith that all will be as it will be for the highest good. So look at that. So, you know, sometimes we're meant to move into action and whenever we're in stillness, so when we are connecting to spirit. So I feel for some of you, this five of pentacles is the in-between. That can be a place of not knowing, being uncomfortable with, with not knowing. So some of you might be experiencing that. All right, so what I'm going to do now is pull a bonus, or sorry, an angel number for you. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, even repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting for you Aquarius 2424. Good times are coming in for you. So look at that. If you're seeing these numbers anywhere in your life, this is your confirmation today of this message. You are worthy of affection, Aquarius, leisure and pleasure. If you tell your family and friends how you feel, you'll find that you are all the same on the same page and can work together efficiently. Many people are rooting for you. If you spread love, it will find its way back to you multiplied. And I feel this is what's happening here. Love is finding its way back to you multiplied. 
So they're wanting you to um, rest here, take a holiday. They want you to dive into pleasurable things in your life, things that bring you love, affection, kindness, and happiness, okay? Leisure. So this is where spirit is really asking you to take a break, Aquarius. All right, everyone, before I forget, I just wanted to mention that August is the perfect month to manifest to set intentions, light candles. So we have some more magic intention candles back in stock. If you're interested in purchasing these, the link is in the description box below. These are made by my beautiful sister-in-law, Katomi. She makes these from home. And uh, you might not get these by August the 8th, but the 17th of August and the 26th are also days that add up to the single digit eight. So you can light these candles on those dates. So if you're interested, we still have some more available. The link is in the description box below. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.